there. Thank you for your interest in the Neurology Residency Training Program here at the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry, Western University, London. I am Anita Florendo Cumbermack, the Residency Training Program Director. I have to say that I have my biases towards this program. I did my residency training here. I did a two-year fellowship in neuromuscular medicine and electromyography and returned as a member of the faculty. Despite my biases, however, I have to say that there are a number of unique things about our program and different aspects about London itself that make us an ideal place for you to train if you're considering neurology residency training for your future. Hello, my name is David Stephen. I'm the chair of the Department of Clinical Neurological Sciences at the Schuller School of Medicine and Dentistry here at Western University. I would like to thank you for your interest in our neurology training program as a graduate from this department myself, I can attest to the excellence of the training provided here. I love the London Neurology Residency Program. Great one-on-one -on -one resident faculty time in the Urgent Neurology Clinic, outstanding clinician teachers, and cool opportunities for developing competency-based skills like the LP Clinic. There's quite a strong culture of mentorship here at Western, so regardless of what field of neurology you may be interested in, whether it's neuromuscular or cognitive neurology, headache or otherwise, we have staff in virtually all subspecialties that have a keen interest in helping learners and can foster any sort of clinical interest you have, and they can also foster research interests as well. I'm Dwight Mullen, and my special area of expertise is in pain research and management. Uh, so I have a neuropathic pain clinic I have a cancer pain clinic at the Cancer Center, and so this is the area that I sub-specialize in, and this really reflects one of the major strengths of our department. We have sub-specialty expertise in virtually every area of neurology. One of the unique features of this program is that it is housed within the Department of Clinical Neurological Sciences, which is made up exclusively of neurologists and neurosurgeons. This collaborative partnership leads to a truly comprehensive training program that in my view is unparalleled elsewhere in Canada. The uniqueness of our department is the fact that we are two combined divisions, neurology and neurosurgery, that's not commonly seen. I would say that the most appealing things in our department are that we have uh, one of the largest epilepsy programs in uh, Canada and that we have consultants from different backgrounds and different institutions and some of them are also former residents so it's a unique environment uh, very friendly and cordial and uh, i think we understand each other very well as you may know at western there is a very strong emphasis right now on neuroscience so we have wonderful collaborative institutes and partners that can help us really tackle almost any range of question neuroscience. Lots of opportunities and, and if you don't already, once you're in clinical neurology, you will appreciate that there are so many fundamental unanswered questions that are super interesting and we have the opportunity here to really explore those uh, as you develop your passion for them. I'm Robin, I'm one of the R3s. When I went through med school, I always thought that brains were the coolest, um, and really that's what drew me to neurology. Neurology is really interdisciplinary, so we work with uh, not only our neurosurgery and our radiology and our pathology colleagues really closely, but we also have really close ties with our allied health team. They're super important, so if you like working in an interdisciplinary team, it's a good place to be. And I think neurology, the future is also bright as a career. You have a lot of options in terms of directions you could take your career and a lot of different areas that you could work in, both like geographically and academically. So anywhere from a small town to a big center could support a neurologist in some capacity and the demand is really there. So it's exciting, exciting times to be a neurologist and certainly a frontier that is changing and going to change over our careers. In general, my philosophy is that the people make the place. Here, the resident group was just my absolute favorite. 
You'll be spending a lot of time with them, the resident cohort. And the way that the program is set up makes it really easy to meet everyone um, at the very beginning. So we start with three blocks on um, neurology service in my year. And you're on with one of the other R1s and you rotate with them for the next two months. So for the first three months, you get to know one of the other residents in your year. And the other two residents are working on the other team, which is on the same floor and is right next to you. So you have a lot of opportunity to get to know the people you work with. Um, and the culture here is one that's very welcoming, relaxed, um, and supportive. And I really like that. We are a big enough program that everyone is able to pursue their own interests. We have people who have specialized in doing more research, people who have specialized in doing more outreach, and we have the numbers of people that we are able to accommodate that. And I think that's very important because we want you to graduate from the program with your own goals achieved. There really isn't traffic here. I came from uh, Washington, D.C. And, and New York and Boston where there really was traffic. But in London, when they complain of traffic, it, it maybe means a two minute delay. The housing is wonderful and relatively affordable to most other places that I've lived in Canada and the U.S. And I think most important and specific to the training program here is that London, possibly because of its size and scope and, and surrounding areas, is really a very collaborative um, town and a collaborative program and university. So when you're in London, you're usually the, the main person that's interested in a certain disorder or patient population or topic, and uh, everyone around you wants to collaborate to help you with that. It's a very family-friendly and family-oriented city. It's growing significantly, and now it's becoming very uh, cosmopolitan. You can find all different types of food. I've really come to appreciate all the food options in London. Even if you're a vegetarian, you do have many options. And then as well as from a, a big good standpoint. So I think we're kind of spoiled with choices, and I think that's something that I didn't really appreciate before coming here for residency. And then being close to kind of other agricultural areas in southwestern Ontario, I think you have the luxury of also having close access to farmers markets, which is really, really nice. And also the, uh, the other thing about London is that it's close to very entertaining things in nature, very, uh, provincial parks, national parks. If you like nature, this is the place very close to everything. London is affordable accessible and lots of green space which is good for our souls for sure the pandemic has been a drag um, personally and professionally we're um, keeping our clinic going as much as possible uh, as well as the research programs but I think for me certainly seeing patients has been sustaining for a while we didn't see any and, and it really feels good to have that hand-on interaction and, and they are so appreciative of our ability to help them particularly in these more difficult times so telephone visits and in-person clinic visits have been really important in these trying times it's important to take a little bit of time each day for me time I spend time with my partner and I eat well. Some might say too well. Thank you for your interest in our neurology training program and I look forward to seeing you at Western. <laughs>